the learning objective of this web webcast is to solve the general plane motion problem of this rigid body in two different way using first using relative motion analysis and second using the instantaneous center of zero uh, velocity uh, approach so the problem says that this is the arrangement uh, we have a link CD here and that is connected with link BC and the BC link is connected with AB here this pin joint is fixed so point A cannot move and point D cannot move but point B and C can move here given are the um, angular velocity omega CD of the link here CD in this direction um, counterclockwise direction and um, the length of those arms are given 1 meter 0.4 meter and also the angle of AB is given the problem asks us to find the angular velocity of the link AB and CB this this um, uh, link so our first thought is what we can uh, determine reading the problem so that we can choose which method to apply to solve the problem so we see this problem is a pin connected problem so it has pin connection with links and it's a general plane motion because it has a rotation and translation of this point c could be going this direction b could be going this direction we're going to talk about that later and it's a rigid body so all these three points suggest us that we can use um, gen uh, relative motion analysis um, to solve this problem and also we can use the IC uh, the instantaneous center of zero uh, velocity because that's the simplified form of um, relative motion analysis um, if you want to review this video for the theory you can always go back uh, and check the video I'll put the link uh, in the comment section but so um, so those theory tells us that we can use general or relative motion analysis or IC approach to solve this problem so next we we'll think how the given that is on here um, the radius or um, angular velocity of CD can be transferred to here and finally here to get the angular velocity of AB and BC so the first target would be since C is connected with this link how do we transfer this information to point C before we start solving problem let's also do a motion analysis since, since the body the arm C D here is rotating this direction so C point C will have directed this direction and since if we draw a circle here the disk so we know that if we know the angular velocity you can find the velocity of point C which would be tangent to that point so it will be actually this is a vertical line so this will be 90 degree angle so the direction of C will be a negative X direction or negative I direction so if we want to find the velocity VC which would be radius um, CD this radius multiplied by the angular velocity omega CD which will give us 2 meter per second and if we want to write it in a vector form we can write it 2 negative 2 I because it's in negative direction of X and it's horizontal so it's only I no Z component so meter per second next since we assume and learn that C is moving in this direction VC so that will push this link downward and we don't know the angle of B but if we again assume another circle here where this is the center of the rotation so again the V would be tangent um, along to that circle um, and we can also find VB as a omega a b uh, multiplied by 
the radius um, a b and um, and if we try to find the vector form of the velocity v b we can find it as since this is 30 degree and p is perpendicular to the rod because it has to be tangent uh, and perpendicular to the uh, perpendicular distance a b so if we draw another parallel line here this has to be 30 degree and this will be 60 degree because this total is 90 degree so if we if we we don't know the value of vb so we can write in vector uh, form as a um, negative vb cos 60 degree i because this is uh, because this vb will have a x and x and y component so x component i can take cos 60 this will give me vb cos 60 it is in negative x direction so i put negative and um the y is also downward so negative vb sine 60 in j direction so now we have identified the vc and vb in vector form also the magnitude of vc and the magnitude of vb is here but we we, we have unknown so we cannot get the value of it we keep it as a variable form so from here we can solve the problem in um, uh, relative motion analysis or IC approach so first we'll see the relative motion analysis approach so our target is uh, B and point C so we wrote the velocity relative motion analysis equation VB uh, because we know C so we we looking we are looking for VB so I put VB on the left side and we know VC so the equation would be plus v relative velocity of b with respect to c we have v in a vector form we also have v c in a vector form that we found in previous slide we need to transfer the vbc in a vector form that we can write cross product of omega bc uh, cross product with r radial distance bc so is it a vector form so we need we can write in an ijk coordinate system so omega bc if we consider the previous uh, slide analysis the motion analysis of point c is this direction b is this direction so these forces can make the bc let's assume in this direction so that is counterclockwise so we're assuming omega bc is counterclockwise if we use right hand rule so um, my fingers pointing in this direction my thumb is going perpendicular upward from this page uh, so we'll have positive k and rbc is the distance between b and c which is um, horizontal in per horizontal in x direction so there will be no y component and it is um, in negative direction so we put negative 0.4 i so if we again do the cross product um, and we know the rules for cross product is uh, I J K in uh, counterclockwise is positive. So from K to I, which means that I'm going K to I, so it will be positive J. So we can write this term as a omega B C negative uh, point four um, J. So now this term becomes um, this term here and we have the vector form of VB and VC so if we write those thing in this straight uh, this equation we will get so this is the equation this part on the left of this equal sign this part is the value of VB in, in vector form this is the VC and uh, this part is the cross product of Omega R BC. so all we have to do is now compare apple to apple so we'll compare the i component of the left hand side of the equation with the i component of the right hand side of the equation similarly we'll take the j component of the left hand side of the equation it will be equal to j component of the right hand side of the equation
so these are the equation i put i component part here of the left side and right side is only two and then uh, j component is again this part of the left side and equals to this part of the right side here so if we solve for vb from here we can get vb equals 4 radian per second and we can get the if we plug the vb for radian here um, we can there's will be only B, omega bc unknown so we can find omega bc which will be 8.66 um, radian per second since the minus negative negative cancel out so omega bc is positive positive means a counterclockwise direction so we have vb now how can we connect vb the direction of vb with the angular um, position uh, angular velocity of ab this is easier because we can find um, because we know that vb if we again assume this is a circle so um, and this point b is is a, in a radial distance from center AB, fixed point of rotation. So we can write VB equals to omega AB, that's what we're looking for, and radius, radial distance AB, which is one. So VB will be equals to uh, omega AB. So we can write omega AB equals to um, uh, four radian per second. Uh, here I did a typo, it will be four uh, meter per second because um, point B, any point can only have um, longitudinal or lengthwise uh, velocity, no angular velocity. Only arm or link, AB or BC, can have um, angular velocity. So now we solved it using the relative motion analysis. Now let's solve the same problem in using IC. So for the IC approach, we need to find the point IC. Um, so we know that if there is if we there is three way to find IC if you uh, watch my video of finding IC the theoretical video um, um, So if we know the velocity of VC in this direction and VB in this direction We talked about it earlier. So how can we find it if we draw perpendicular line from here and perpendicular line from VB the cross-section point wherever it is it will be our cross section point which will be our ic so now from here we see there is a triangle form forms here so we'll take that triangle this triangle out and we'll solve from there so now look at the triangle from here like this triangle i draw this triangle so this is our point ic this goes up to the point c and on the left point b so do we know this is 90 degree and we know that BC velocity V is also creating 90 degree with this arm BIC and we know that VB is this direction is 60 this is 90 so this has to be 30 degree so if that is 30 degree and this arm here BC is given as 0.4 so we need to find the distance of point C uh, from the IC and also distance of point B from IC so we're gonna so applying the triangular formula for well this is 30 degree um and we know this this length so we can find b i c uh the uh, radial distance perpendicular distance b point b from the i c point can be found using trigonometry cos 30 equals to um r b b i c would be equals to 0.4 over this length over cos 30 degree which is gives us 0.462 and if we also want to find the position the radial distance from of point c from the ic we can use the triangle again 10 30 degree multiplied by 0.4 will give us this length um, from c to ic which is 0.23 meter so this is the goal of using ic is that uh, the point of interest that we have our point B and point C we need the perpendicular distance from our IC that's what we did now we will sol start solving the problem now we will apply the IC formula between point uh, C here and the IC which is V velocity of point C equals omega BC and radial distance from C to IC so we just found it so if we plug that 0.23 here 
and we know Vc, we figured out at the very beginning, 2 meter per second, so we can get the omega Bc, which is uh, 8.66 radian per second. In the IC format, the gain, how do you know which is, it would be counterclockwise? You have to do the same motion analysis, Vc in this direction, Vv downwards, so it has to be counterclockwise. So now if we can apply the same uh, IC formula for point B and from IC, we write uh, velocity VB equals to omega BC and radial distance R B I C. So one thing I didn't t t talk about, I think it's important that we talk about, so we wrote omega BC. This is because um, due to, if you go to the go over the theory of IC, IC could be uh, away from the body B. So here our body is BC. So the velocity of point B and C has to be on the body and IC could be somewhere far uh, away from the body. That's why when we're talking about angular velocity, when applying the IC formula, it has to be the angular velocity of the body, not angular velocity from C to IC or not angular velocity from B to IC. So when if this this part is clear, then you know why we're using the angular velocity BC because this is the body, and here also for VB we're going to use the same angular velocity omega uh, omega BC. So we found omega BC here already, which is 8.66. If we plug that value here, and we also know that velocity VB again if we assume it's a circle, so this is the point of rotation A. So the velocity VB can be also written as omega the angular rotation omega a b and multiplied by radial distance from a to b which is one and um or we plug the value omega b c here and r b i c we already found it is the um, 0.462 so this would be 0.462 and omega b c is 8.66 and VB is equals to omega AB, RAB we know is only one, so we can find omega AB, and um, it will be the same result if you do uh, the calculation from previous slide, you will see uh, the omega AB is 4 radian per uh, second in this uh, counterclockwise direction. So we solve the same problem, uh, in both way, uh, we found the result are the same, uh, 8.66, and uh, for omega b is 4 radian per second. If you have more questions or you need more clarification, you can always comment below and I can put more explanation. Um, so till then, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Uh, have a great day.